with 4 million people logging in every day, about 14 million people um, logging in every month. Meet is the top grossing app in the social category, um, or one of the top grossing apps in the social category in the US, uh, and Lavu is one of the top grossing social apps in Europe. We're publicly traded in NASDAQ um, under the ticker, under the ticker Meet. We are a sizable company, 140 million in revenue, uh, is what we said we'll do this year. Um, 250 or, or more, 250 plus employees. There's three steps, I'd say start now is one of them. Yeah, this is an interesting fact that four out of the five of the most valuable public companies in the world were started by um, people who are aged 19, 20, 21, and 25. You know, these people didn't sit on their ideas, they had the idea and then they acted. Um, you might notice a missing college here, there's two Harvards and um, a Stanford. Um, so who's the, who's the old guy who's one of the top five who's not uh, a teen or a 20? something, and of course it's Jeff Bezos. Um, uh, Princeton's own Jeff Bezos. So um, maybe you guys are late bloomers. Um, step two is fail a lot. You know, these founding stories tend to be linear, right? Like, oh, one thing led to another, everything's so easy. Um, you know, money falls out of the sky, and then, then the next pile of money does. Um, and, you know, I think this quote, I think is resonant. There's no success like failure, and failure is no success at all which I take to basically mean you learn more from your failures and from your successes. Um, and most of my apps fail. Um, and, and I think the, the expectation is anything you, you, you launch is likely to fail, uh, especially to the extent it's, it's novel. Um, and, and certainly, uh, certainly we, we've failed a lot. So, you know, I, I think the trick is you persist. Um, now, Super Grover is my favorite Sesame Street character because he has one superpower, um, he shows up. Yes. And so I, I like that, um, I, I like that. And basically every startup is gonna be super growth. You gotta sh keep showing up, even when you have one hit followed by 18 months of flatness or downness and then another hit. There's always that other hit, you gotta, but you gotta keep coming or if you wanna achieve it. And then step three I think is bring a little twist to a big trend. You know, Steve Jobs and creativity is just connecting things. Um, you know, a lot of people like to think, oh, once I have the great idea, then I'd start a big business. But, I, you know, the problem is you don't know, you know, the ideas don't fall out of the sky with a heavenly moon be or heavenly, like, light beam on them. Um, you often don't know. You know, big ideas often are just the tiniest twist on a big trend. Um, like, it, it, even in, in retrospect, like, the, the, it would, you might say, oh, if I had started Instagram, you know, I'm just waiting for my Instagram idea. Well, Instagram added filters, right? That's a feature. I mean, there, there's no obvious path that, that says, well, that's going to be a billion or multi-billion dollar exit. You know, Facebook didn't pioneer networking, social networking. The Friendster did, and then MySpace popularized it. Zuckerberg is obviously um, a very smart guy, and he added a great twist. But um, you know, the, the kind of the, the Harvard network. And, and, and kind of really, really making it clean and, and focused on, on a particular set of users. Um, but that wasn't obvious. Bumble, B Bumble just said, well, I'm gonna be Tinder, but I'm gonna let the children, I'm gonna let the, 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 the women um, chat first. That's not, that's not obviously a hit. Bitcoin, their own supporters were, didn't believe in, it, in its value potential enough to not buy $10 million pizza. Um, Snapchat, I doubt too many parents, if you said, well, hey, I'm gonna drop out of school to build a disappearing photo app, would say, oh, that's a great idea, billion dollars. Um, or HQ, well, you know what, I'm just gonna give money away. Um, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be huge. Um, so, so I think the best ideas sound ridiculous um, to, to most people anyway. And that's, that's kind of the sign you might go onto something. Unfortunately, there's only one expensive way to know if your idea is any good, <laughs> you have to build it. 